Father Faustino de Souza, a visionary pastor. A far-sighted man gave first place to God. He made sisters to learn catechesis, music, home science, etc. He even sent them outside Goa to be educated and to update themselves. He made the sisters to avail of the opportunities given by the government so that they could help the people and be of service to them. He told every sister that visit to families was a must. Hi, Sister Libya Fernandez. Feel blessed to be in this holy place where a founder, Father Faustin de Souza, was born. It's a decade I'm here in St. Michael's, working with the same passion and the vision of our founder. He never stick to his plans for the day. He did his work according to the will of the Holy Spirit. His prayers and actions went together. The love of God he experienced in prayer, he showed in action. He was always available any hour of the day. Hospitable, friendly towards all the sick, the alcoholics, a child or beggar and the needy. He indeed met God and saw God's presence in every person. This only a person who is in deep union with God can do. He embraced all religion people and helped them without any distinction. This is Sister Amrita Gujam, the Superior General of the Congregation of the Sisters of Holy Family of Nazareth since May 2014. I express my deepest gratitude to God for his gratuitous gift of our founder, who enlightens, guides, and leads me in my commitment to serve. My name is Sister Mary Leone. I am 88 years old. I work with Father Founder for 25 years. His prayer. His prayer and action went together. The love of God he experienced in prayer, he showed in action, in serving all those who asked him his help. He was always available anyone uh, of the uh, any day of the day or hour of the day he was hospitable friendly towards all the sick the alcoholic maybe a child a beggar needy etc he indeed not God and but saw God's presence in every person. This only a, a, a person who is in deep union with God can do. He embraced all religion people and he helped them without distinction. Amen. Sister Maria Pia, I 
final, eu tive que fazer a hipótese da Vanda Vanda com Candy e Chies. Vanda, Vanda Ken, and I said, when you're about to join the now ship, I would like what, what are the names that you all are going to, I would like to know what names you are going to take. I said, I'm taking the name of Sister Maria Pia, because my name was Maria Josiana. And then, he asked my other sister also for the four sisters. And they also said what they wanted to take. Then he said, I would like you to take the name because the name is your name, but it's so Maria Pia or I said I want to say all the sisters said all the ones they want to tell what they want to do to us. But he said, I would like one of you to take the name of when they both chose your father in the bus. And at once I took up my hand and I said, I want to take the name of, of Van Rebel Jezebel. So I became Sister Maria Pia of Van Rebel Jezebel. From that friend. And from that friend, I'm going on. Till now, playing, I sing God's help. No. Now we become Saint Jezebel. I am also the Pastor Maria Pia of St. Elizabeth. I go on praying and I pray. I still need help and 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 I still need help. Welcome friends to view the life of Father Faustino and be inspired by his heroic life. The theme for our exhibition is Father Faustino, a ray of hope. This year, we celebrate his 125th birth anniversary of a great visionary pastor and a ray of hope to humanity. I shall now take you to his unique childhood. Father Faustino was born in our own village of Anjuna on the 24th of November, 1893, to devout parents Mr. Romano Salador das Chagas de Souza and Mrs. Prishosa Cristalina Ludovina de Souza. He was the second youngest child in the family of seven, four girls and three boys. He was baptized at St. Michael's Church Anjuna. The child was named Faustino Antonio Zuao Zuse de Souza. Few incidences from the life of little Faustino. One day, boy Faustino wanted to be out of his house without the knowledge of his parents, when he was sick and advised to take rest. He climbed the window sill, caught hold of the rope and swung across the well. But he missed his aim and fell into the well. He used his ingenuity and catching hold of the same rope, climbed up. The second incident. Faustino was 8 years old when the launch named Goa, in which the family was travelling, capsized and 81 people met with a watery grip. He was saved with the help of his elder sister. Even as a child, he had special love for the Blessed Sacrament and spent his hours on his knees in prayer to the Blessed Sacrament. He loved to be an altar servant and served Mass every day. His character was marked with a heart of compassion when he helped the needy and poor. He was an inspiration to all the children around. As he grew up, he heard the voice of God calling him to become a priest to serve the Church of God. He was sent for philosophical and theological studies to the Patriarchal Seminary to Russia. He was ordained deacon at the Pilar Monastery. He was ordained a priest by Dom Sebastian José Pereira, the Bishop of Daman, on 6 April 1990 at the Pilar Monastery. Father Faustino lived for 40 years at the Sankwal Church. He adopted a pastoral attitude. He loved the tiny thoughts. He campaigned for modesty. He encouraged self-help industry. Father Faustino worked to the upliftment of his flock. The road from Kota Lim to Vasco Airport is all the hard work of our Father Faustino. Father Faustino loved human and nature around. He was a very holy man. The day he passed away, 
The fish at River Sakwal were found dead. He was a visionary and wanted to start a congregation of his own to serve the poor and the needy in the Diocese of Goa. His dream began with the starting of the first congregation of the Franciscan Brothers at Goa. He then planned to start the congregation of girls in Goa. The first batch of sisters were sent to Mangalore for their novitiate. Three young girls then proceeded to Mangalore to begin their training under the Bethany sisters. His long awaited dream to start a congregation of sisters became reality on 16 June 1935 when the great congregation of the sisters of Holy Family of Nazareth were born to be at the service of the poor. This pious unit was canonically erected as the religious congregation by the patriarch Dom Jose de Costa Nunes on the 25th March 1952.